1972, Dutch German jazz rock supergroup Association PC were dominating the European jazz rock scene when they released their third album, the live release Erna Morena, and from it, the opener Frau Thunison's Kegel. <laughs> Hearing some seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. <laughs> okay, so far we got a really brisk bass, uh, Austin, uh, bass, like two note, two, and then, uh, and and some really, uh, like fuzzy organ. <laughs> And some drumming that's just really kicking things up. And uh, I should introduce at least uh, one of these guys. On drums, we have uh, Pierre Corbois. And yes, he's one of the, he's part of the Dutch half of the band. Okay, dig the purity of that tone, just piercing through. That is the sax work of Carl H. Wiberney. Yeah. I, just, I was thinking, do I know uh, Wiberney? Let's see. Because uh, the name doesn't ring a bell offhand. He was in uh, Peter um, Herbal, uh, Herbal's her Baltimore rhythm combination in brass. Uh, yeah, put out a few albums in the mid seventies. He was on the uh, Next Association PC studio album, uh, Rock Around the Rock Around the Cock, and uh, and uh, oh, a few things I haven't really worked through. Um, new jazz ensemble, Burning Flowers. I don't think I know that one. And uh, let's see, Ocean Orchestra. Yeah, I know that one. Um, kind of just a uh, oh, a serial player on the German scene. Between uh, the, the drummer, uh, between the drum sax and keyboards, it's like we got like three points of interest. It's like, uh, just uh, spend 20, 20 seconds a piece on each one. Okay, the keyboard right now is just going to do this. I like how every single bar the, the drummer is giving us this fill. Uh, sound quality may leave something to be desired, but it is live. It, it, there's no hiding the energy. It's I love just the, the thinness and the piercing kind of trebly quality of it just like wiggling and snaking through. At this point, I really should uh, introduce the uh, keyboards, the one and only Jasper Van Hoff. Yes, um, pretty much the mastermind. I think the leader behind this this. Uh, assortment of musicians and he of course would uh, record a number of great solo albums in the later part of the day, uh, late 70s, early 80s and 
was behind uh, uh, several other projects during the period. Let's see, Sincerely, uh, P.T., uh, Pork Pie, uh, Piano uh, Conclave. He was involved in these. He was, he was the guy behind Pork Pie in the mid-70s. And then in the 80s, um, Pilly Pilly, you know, more of a world music type, type, world, uh, ethno-jazz type thing. <laughs> Now we're about to hear more of the guitar work of Toto Blank. You know it's a great guitarist when all he has to do is just kind of come sort of blending in with this Siri kind of fuzzy tone and it just instantly takes command. And it's not like he's even doing any lightning scales yet. He's just kind of like holding a tone and uh, and, and it's just the, the sound of it itself that, that just has a certain je ne sais quoi. <laughs> Fuzziness just bristling right off of it. Just and then he holds like some sustain for a while, lets it kind of like bend, and and then throws in a few licks. Just. Just appreciate the interplay between Toto and, and the, the drums, just both really hyperactive, interlock, just battling. One second, all lightning fingers, then the next kind of like holding and bending notes and laying them just sear right through the mix. Uh, at this point, Jasper Van Hoff seems to be giving us kind of like a, almost kind of a like wah effect. I'm hearing that coming from that organ. of like notes from the strings and then and then hits from that drum kit just the energy of it all the it just imagine it as like an abstract painting imagine all the shape imagine all that dots and Fuzzy tones just kind of like ooze out of those notes. give some credit to the bass that's like holding things in the background not not really taking uh frontal stage although we might hear a little bit more of him but yeah th just the, this this big light show that we're being being given this these fireworks between the drums and the guitar um well this being their moment for the time being <laughs> And now 
it's getting more fractious, the guitar. It, you, you can barely even uh, pick out the notes anymore. It's just like, like... <laughs> Jasper is starting to experiment with more sounds. He was giving us that real riffy, kind of boxy sound for a moment, and then that, that. Experimental psych organ. There, there weren't many jazz rock recordings that had that kind of like, oh, that, that psychedelic rock organ in it. Um, well, because jazz rock uh, didn't really take off around the world until like 1973, 74, by which time it was kind of um, outmoded. But this is like a rare opportunity, I guess, to hear kind of say an organ that you would hear, like say, like maybe, I, I don't know, like on early, oh, like an early Mark II Deep Purple record or um, like 69, or um, or heck, maybe like, you know. Um, one, one of the psychedelic uh, hard rock bands from like the 1970, 70, 1969 to 1972 time frame. On like, in, in more of like a hard melodic, uh, like jazz rock musical environment, say more akin to Mahavishnu Orchestra. <laughs> is a little bit more prominent now yeah uh, the the bassist uh role tended to change I, I guess uh yeah siggy bush yeah uh german siggy bush i got i got one album by him as a band leader yeah <laughs> Jasper Van Hoff actually left after this album. So he was on the first three albums, and then um, and then um, on the next one, uh, Joachim Kohn, uh, Joachim Kohn took over. drummer ever get tired. Oh, just hear the finger work there of Jasper. What I really appreciate about him here is that he seems to appreciate um, sound as much as just like like the notes and the runs, the filigree, um, it's it, it, to, to the he he, he um, uh, because a lot, I I don't know about his background, his training, but but a lot of the um, before this period anyway, a lot of like really skilled musicians just wouldn't have um, like corrupted the sound of their their instruments to this extent. It's like he'll 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 just like make it sound like anything that it possibly could like with all the knobs you could and, and yet he'll because because and then and then on the other end because keyboards who tended to go that route tended not to be very um, technically proficient 
They're, they're, they, it's rare for you to get someone who is both technically proficient and yet willing to really um, experiment with sound and go on like these lengthy stretches of just like feedback and distortion and, and all kind you know all kinds of knobbery. And... <laughs> It's like Patrick Moraz would. He's one example of someone who would do both, but like Rick Wakeman wouldn't. Tony Kay, no way. And that was Association PC with uh, Frau... Um, Thunison's Kegel. Yeah, uh, an unrecorded track at the time. Um, the, yeah, their live album uh, from 1972, their third release, Erna Morena, on MPS Records, yeah, with a unique set of material just captured on a very inspired night. And uh, any kind of sonic limitations aside, you know, due to it being a live recording and of the early 70s, it's still uh, the energy and the magic and the spontaneity all captured there from five great players um, and three, and particularly, well, four great soloists, you could say, and I'm counting the drummer in, in among the soloists. Well, he was just kind of, you know, just taking command the whole entire time. But um, And then e each of, uh, of, like, the three soloists who, who basically took turns with the um, you know, on sax, guitar, and organ, and keyboard, you know, keyboard arsenal, and just uh, tearing things up, and just, uh, yeah, just running the gamut between experimentation, between notation, between fast runs and filigree, um, and just shards of sonic expressionism, yeah. Association PC, yeah, one of, uh, one of Europe's finest in the jazz rock realm. For more rubies and sapphires from the catalog of Association PC, see the directory of albums by Dutch artists linked in the description below for red out tracks and purples from all the Association PC albums, as well as uh, like by Jasper Van Hoff and um, other uh, like Dutch uh, jazz rock and uh, across the musical spectrum. Yeah, I, I did a Jasper Van Hoff video on here about five months ago from his 1977. Um, yeah, some pretty experimental stuff on there too. Yeah, like and subscribe. Follow me on social media. Share the video. And leave leave your comments about what your favorite moments of that piece was. But who do you think had the best solo? What was the most intense passage? Uh, yeah, what, what uh, did you like the experimentation the most or just the filigree and, and dexterity and, and virtuosity the most? Yeah. And until next time, this is Aragon, the world's most ear-traveled trail maximalist, signing off.